Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the Dr Preppers for Prep and Data. And today we're going to be talking about cleaning strings in Tableau Prep. Now that's quite a broad subject matter, um, but basically what I'm going to focus on talking about is the inbuilt functionality of Tableau Prep to clean those strings. So without writing calculations yourselves, how can you access that cleaning functionality? So the data that we're going to be using today comes from Prep and Data, funnily enough. Um, it's challenge number 30 from 2019. So go ahead and pick that up if you want to follow along. So we're just going to go into Tableau Prep and we're going to be bringing in the tweets. I'm just going to filter out the unnecessary rows, uh, columns, sorry, because we don't need those. We've basically just got the tweet ID and the tweet here for for us. So you can see that it looks quite a mess at the moment. Tweets are kind of going to be messy data sources because they have lots of hashtags, lots of um, strange spacing can occur, etc. and so forth. So let's go ahead and look into those cleaning options that we have for us. So in our three dots of the text field, then we find that we have this clean option and we have eight different options, which we'll just kind of talk briefly about and talk about when they might be useful. So we can make everything uppercase uh, really quick. You know, um, it does that in a matter of seconds, you know, um, and why might you want to make everything uppercase or in fact lowercase? It might be that you have um, some words that you want to join into this data set to filter out all of the um, sort of common English words or sort of do some kind of sentiment analysis. So it might be they're all in lowercase or uppercase. It will just help making those join clauses. So that's one use case where you might want to use that functionality. Um, we also have all these options here to remove letters, numbers or punctuation. So we could remove all the letters and then it gets a bit kind of um, confusing potentially to some. Um, but you can kind of see that we've got the temperatures are still there in Fahrenheit and Celsius. So maybe it's just that we're really interested in the temperatures and then we'll do some uh, passing of this data to get it into a format that we want. And we just thought it'd be easier to get rid of all the letters first. Um, I am going to go ahead and undo that last step um, just so that I can show you those other changes. So I just go over into the changes log and actually this is a good point to mention the fact that although we're not writing the calculations ourselves, Tableau Prep is writing the calculations still. So if we just have a look there, um, then we can see that this one will be removed all the letters, then it's using regex replace to do that. Regex is a great language for cleaning up strings. Um, and if you want more about information about regex, then please do check out the link in the description. Um, it's a great advanced technique to clean up your strings, but it's interesting that you can still make use of it without having to understand it via this functionality in Tableau Prep. And the other good thing that I'll mention about the, uh, the fact that you can go in and edit this field is that say you sort of wanted to use this functionality but you didn't want to replace the letters say you wanted to create an extra field instead that flagged up all the fields that contained letters so you could just copy this string into another calculation so let's write a calculated field here i'm just going to leave it as calculation one and we're going to change it from being regex replaced to being regex match so this will just give us a true or a false we need to get rid of the extra clause there because we don't want to replace it with anything and this will just give us a true false column to say does it con contain any letters obviously i've removed all the letters in the step before so if i get rid of that that should give us a few more true falses okay they all contain a letter of some variety so that's just a way to really take advantage of the cleaning functionality within tableau prep and take it further so it's a great use case so Let's continue with our different um, cleaning functions. So we've done three. Uh, let's remove all the numbers. Again, why might you want to do that? Maybe you just care about the month, for example. We saw all of the dates. Most of the tweets start with a date. We could get rid of the day and the year and only have the month information there. That might be what we're trying to get from our data set. Um, we can also remove all the punctuation and say that we're only kind of interested in 
sort of the actual text, then getting rid of the letter, uh, the punctuation and the numbers could be getting us further along to our desired output. We have a few more options that we can also make use of, and this is more to do with the spacing. So if we have a look at this second line here, um, then this has got a lot of different spaces. So let's see how the different cleaning the spaces uh, works for us. So trim spaces, that doesn't seem to have changed it at all. Trimming the spaces means if there's a space at the start of the string or at the end of the string, it's going to remove those spaces so that it kind of just, I'm a terrible for this when I'm inputting data, I'll put a space after pretty much every string that I write, um, which is really annoying when you're coming to it from a data prep standpoint. Um, so it's always good to be able to trim those spaces away nice and easily. Um, you can remove extra spaces. So that just means um, where we've got duplicate spaces, maybe someone's hit the space bar twice when they've been entering their data. Um, if we have a look at that second row again, there you go, that got rid of those spaces in the middle. So that's really helpful for us, um, but it's still left one space. So got rid of any duplicate white space without getting rid of all white space. And then finally the most extreme version is to remove all spaces. So then that just gives us um, a long kind of string that's all stuck together. So thank you very much for watching and please do go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Check out our previous video which was all about filtering in Tableau Prep and stay tuned for our next video which is all about the group and replace functionality, another option from that three dot ellipsis menu. Thanks for watching.